We're going to look at two more types, that's with an inverted comma around it, uh, of memory. The first one being virtual memory, which as the name suggests isn't quite as it seems. This is actually a memory management procedure, that's a very good free word phrase to use in an exam question, that comes into action when the RAM is full, so the capacity has been used up in the RAM, there's no more space to store any more data. What happens is the operating system, which is what enacts this procedure, creates a temporary section of volatile memory or be that behaves like volatile memory in the secondary storage. So it acts like it's part of the RAM essentially. So it, so you've got your RAM, you've got your secondary storage, it might be an SSD, it might be a hard disk, and it kind of extends, it extends the capacity of the RAM by pretending that a bit of the secondary storage is RAM. In this context, to have your RAM being full probably means you've got loads of applications open, loads of tabs maybe in your web browser that are taking up all this space. And so what happens is data from these processes not currently being used, or the oldest ones usually, they're sent as pages. And this is the technical term for this mini subtopic of virtual memory. Page, a page is just a block of data. So you, you could adequately say just a sentence data from the RAM to the virtual memory, but I wanted to drop in the technical term uh, here. So some of the data from applications not currently been used is moved from the RAM to this newly created part of the secondary storage, which is virtual memory. This is of course relying on the fact that you have actually got spare capacity in your secondary storage. You're a bit screwed if you don't, and you've got full capacity RAM, you've just got to close something. And when you reopen this program that's been moved to the secondary storage, it is swapped back into RAM, but this usually takes a while. So you often notice if you open something that hasn't been open for a while, it often will open a lot slower because, or perhaps because it's been stored in a slower secondary storage. I keep saying that RAM is faster than secondary storage. So therefore, if you access something from virtual memory, it's got to be moved back into RAM. And so that's kind of a much slower process, which is why you often notice it when you open something you haven't opened for a few days maybe if you're like me and never really turn your computer off. So just to recap, the so-called virtual memory is a lot slower because it is held on the secondary storage as opposed to your RAM but it does mean that you can essentially extend your RAM capacity by a bit and a common misconception is that it's the new program, the new data that's kind of overfilled for RAM capacity that is put in virtual memory. It's actually the old data is gets gets moved and swapped back into virtual memory. So that's a slight misconception to make sure you realize that it's the older data that gets moved into virtual memory, not your new application data that you've just opened, for example. The second type of memory we're looking at is much more concrete, it's flash memory. Examples of this are SD cards, uh, USB drives, thumb drives, and SSDs, which we'll actually focus on a bit more in a future video. And these are secondary storage devices, these are non-volatile, and they are examples of solid state technology. SSD stands for solid state drive, and this means they're non-mechanical, uh, i.e. they've got no moving parts, they're just logic gates, they're just electronic circuits. Other storage mediums like a hard disk, a hard drive, is an actual spinning disk, as we'll look at in a future video. And the general um, advantage of this is they're more reliable and durable. You can quite easily, you know, you could, you can imagine quite easily drop these. Maybe not an SSD. I wouldn't suggest throwing an SSD around, especially because they're so expensive. But these aren't going to get easily damaged, and they're very reliable. Um, one issue with solid state technology is that there's only a finite number of uh, of writing you can do to it, eventually it will stop working as you write loads to it. This used to be a problem, it used to be quite a big issue, but the technology is so much more advanced now that this isn't really an issue. It's still there in the background, but usually the, the writing cycles are so large that you don't really need to worry about it. You're never going to get close to writing that much data to them. As I say, we'll focus on SSD slightly more. The main thing to take in this video is that flash memory is non-volatile, it keeps its data, and virtual memory is even though it's stored on a non-volatile medium, it acts as if it's volatile. So the virtual memory goes whenever you turn your computer off.